going on guys level m diecast bringing you a first on the channel unboxing we're gonna do this new jada punch buggy set that just dropped um these have been found at hobby lobby but these i just found at walmart so walmart is going to start carrying these this is the newest release these are the six models in the release. Obviously, we're going to unbox these. So I have all six. They come in a interesting blister. It's a double-sided blister. Um, this card right here. Well, if you slug bug on one side and punch buggy on the other side, this is actually the front. This is how they're pegged. Uh, these are marketed as Jada, but... We all know that they are not Jada. They are Majorette Castings. There is your Majorette logo right there at the bottom. Um, I don't understand. Maybe they're just afraid to put Majorette's name on it. I don't know. Might as well just put Majorette on it. Still call them Punch Buggy. Uh, we're going to just uh, move into it, though. We're going to start with this guy. There are three Volkswagen Bugs. There are three Volkswagen T1s. So we're just going to get right into this. Just spread the blister on the bottom. And uh, don't do what I did and launch the car off. Um, comes with a little, little platform piece here. Uh, you know, you guys know I open stuff, so that's for me. That's trash. That's trash. Um, this first one is in this really nice turquoise with white. It's got white wheels. You got uh, front and rear. Actually, you got lensed headlights, painted hood, and then painted tail lights. And then the sides painted. And of course, this is Majorette, so they do have suspension. These are the Deets. It'll be easier to see this on uh, one of the other ones that doesn't have a white base. Um, they started printing these on the bottom to reflect Jada. It's probably a uh, government required or whatever thing. Um, these are pretty cool because they do have an opening part. There's nothing in there, but it doesn't matter. At least it opens. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think about that? It's pretty cool, huh? Put that guy down on the little rotator dude there. I have too much stuff in the studio, guys. All right, we're going to fix this. Get right into, right into where we need to be. There we go. Want you guys to get all that good detail. Um, you know, I... I I don't understand why this has to be such a big deal for Majorette. I don't understand why they have to uh, use Jada. I don't can't why they just use their own name, but it's, it's whatever. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. This is the black one, flat black with red. I'm going to open this one off the camera so I don't launch it across the room like I did the last one. Um, and just so you guys know, the only thing that holds the blisters together is the cardboard. These are not sealed together. Take a look at this guy. Um, I really like this one. Um, I actually found this one at Hobby Lobby, but I refuse to spend six ninety nine because that's what Hobby Lobby asks for these. Um, this one's really really nice and it's flat black with the red and the white. It's got white wheels on it. Looks pretty cool. Of course, you still have your suspension. Still have your print on the back. Looking at the bottom here, here's your base details. A little bit easier to see. 164 scale Volkswagen Beetle. It's a pretty nice model. It's a pretty nice model. I'll move this guy off. Move this guy on there. Um, you know, I like the fact that they're doing this punch buggy, but I mean, how many how many Volkswagen T1s and and Beetles can you just release in new colors over and over and over again? Eventually, we got to get something new, right? Um, this is the last beetle in the set. This is the purple one. Slice this guy open. Pull this guy out. This one's a little, a little more like, you know, a little more like um, hippie style, I guess. Super bug on the side. It's got a different, it's, so these are actually printed. That design's printed on the wheel. Um, that's pretty cool. You know, they, they, you know, just change the print on it. Gives it a much, much different look. Um, still has all the same tampo print. 
you know that's the one good thing about Mage Red is even even these are being marketed under Jada, they still don't skimp. They still don't skimp. I absolutely love Mage Red, man. Mage Red is like just Mage Red is a power player. I just wish that they could be in the U.S. I just wish they could be here. Really like these. And I mean, just so you guys know, I mean they're all they're all the same, you know, situations in the front. Um, but look how far you can open that thing all the way. I can't even open that Outer World Demon the other day that much. Put this guy over there. We're going to put this guy right there. It's a pretty good trio. That's a pretty good trio. I like the trio. But I think we're going to get a little bit better. We're going to do T1s here. Um, this is the third or fourth wave of these since they showed up here in the U.S., um, they've always been three. This is the first time they've been six models. Um, very, very happy about that. I'm very happy that they're expanding that line. Take a look at this T1. This guy is, it doesn't really show it that much on the camera. It's kind of like coffee colored. It's a little tan, a little brown on the bottom. Um, this two tone looks pretty good. Uh, front print, obviously, got lensed headlights. Almost every majorette model has lensed headlights. Um, same wheels as the other models. Still has plenty of suspension. Love Majorette. So good. This guy also has moving a uh, moving part. Let's open that guy up real quick. Ooh. See if I can get him open. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? You know, Majorette, even their newest castings, if you guys see the new stuff they're coming out with, they're coming out with a Countach. They got the GR Supra. Um, they're coming out of the Porsche 917. Um, I mean, they don't skimp on anything, man. Their models are fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, look at the base here. Made in Thailand. So, they come from the land of most die cast, except for Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels comes from, most of Hot Wheels comes from Malaysia, but not all of it. A lot of uh, Hot Wheels comes from Hot Wheels Premium comes from Thailand. Uh, we're going to go on to this next version. Um, they're the exact same casting. There's no, there's no differences. Oh, man. You know, for being a simple blister, they sure do get held together well. Scoop de do, world class dog walkers. Um, the paw prints and stuff that is gold looks good. These are just the raw wheels, unpainted in black. Looks pretty cool. Still got the logo on the front, Volkswagen logo. Take a look at the back. Always tail light print. Still got the same opening feature. Uh, just a plain black base. Looking very, very, very good. It's pretty sweet. It's a pretty nice version. Uh, not as good as the first one we looked at, but it's still pretty good. Move this guy over here. This guy right there. Um, these uh, these roll very very well. <laughs> Majorettes roll way better than Hot Wheels or uh, Matchbox do. They they uh, they they're definitely higher quality, but of course they're higher price point. These are two ninety seven at Walmart. Uh, just for reference, um, I'm glad that they didn't like you know tone them down or take parts out or whatever to try to get the price down. They just gave them to us. Uh, we're going to go on to this last T1. This guy's pretty cool. He's got a surfboard on the top. Crack him open. Take a look at this hippie-ist of them all. This guy has a different wheel. He's the actual Punch Buggy logo mascot looking like. Uh, you got all that same print on the front. Lens headlights, of course. Two-tone. It's like an off yellow and white. Looks really good. I like it a lot. Um, the de the interiors are very detailed. It's kind of hard to see in there, but they are very, very detailed. Uh, still has, you know, opening parts, all that good stuff. And this guy's got the surfboard on the top. And yes, the surfboard is removable. Um, I think what Major Ed does is they just have the casting. And if they want to add, they just drill to add the piece in there. Um, like Unlike other manufacturers where they... Everything's got to be like a hole's got to be there. Um, and so it's always got to have the attachment. They don't do that. Um, this is your surfboard in case you guys wanted to see it. It's, it's, I mean, it's pretty detailed for just a little gimmicky item to add to the top. 
Just snaps right in there. Two little hooks. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that. Um, there's base. Same base. No different on the base. Um, we're going to let the T1s roll. Because, you know, this is a pretty straightforward video. It's a pretty straightforward unboxing. Um, if I can get these guys to not roll off. Get them a little, little interlocked with each other. There we go. There we go. Just takes a little bit of TLC. So the only one you guys can't see is this guy. That's all right. But let me know what you guys think about that. You know, I I was pretty shocked to come across these today. Um, I didn't hunt today at all. Um, I just happened to stop at a Walmart looking for something else. And literally there was nothing at that Walmart except for these. So I know for a fact these are part of the new reset. I don't know if every store will carry them. But I believe there's only one of each per case. It's a six car case, I believe. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, you guys will get them. I, these aren't going to be rare or anything. you know. And I think that with the price point, they're not exactly going to fly off the shelves. But... There are a lot of Volkswagen guys out there, and I know you Volkswagen guys will take up anything Volkswagen related you can find. So it's pretty cool. I just, I really want Majorette to come here as Majorette. I want to be able to buy Majorette singles, just regular singles. But if this is all we get for now, I will still take it because I would love to add any Majorette that I can to the collection. So, um, but yeah, that's all we're going to do for now. Uh, pretty straightforward video, you know, guys. It's, not not a whole lot to do sometimes when there's unboxings it didn't get too fancy so i hope you guys enjoy it and um you know this this coming week is is the gathering so um hopefully we'll have some cool stuff on the channel so anyways we're gonna roll out because we're level in diecast peace